many years ago we made contact with the Ab Aboriginal Catholic Ministry here in Melbourne and they were developing a, a very special ritual to celebrate Advent and Christmas. And they asked if we might be prepared to trial the liturgy that they put together. It involves the traditional uh, kulamon, which Aboriginal women have used to carry babies, to put food into as they gather. And the ritual takes place at the beginning of Mass on the first Sunday of Advent, and the kulamon is carried into the church by a minister and placed in the bower, the bower we had specially made to create some atmosphere. And the kulamon is turned upside down as a sign that we are waiting um, during Advent. Then at Christmas Mass, the kulamon is turned upright and the baby carried in with the entrance procession is placed then into the kulamon for the Mass. And after Mass, the kulamon and the baby are carried and placed in the nativity set. And they remain there for Christmas. The window behind me is the story of Elijah and from the Book of Kings. And Elijah is a very, very special person in terms of the Carmelite order and tradition. When we created the indigenous garden here, we were very keen to create some artwork that would um, complement the plantings in the garden. And because of the connection between the Carmelite order and Elijah, we uh, thought that something that told the story uh, would be very appropriate. And having made that decision, we then approached uh, an Aboriginal artist by the name of Vicky Cousins. And Vicky kindly came here, looked at the site, went away, came back with some drawings for a proposed window, and we accepted the, uh, the commission that we had offered her. And the glass window was created, and it was made in Geelong by Wuthering Glass, and here is the lady herself. <laughs> um, so I came to the project to um, create this, this story. Um, Michael and the church commissioned me, um, which I'm very grateful and it was a great honour and privilege. And an exciting challenge because I'm not a, a practising Christian person. Um, I follow my Aboriginal spirituality. Um, notwithstanding that I have some Christian understanding, not particularly of the Carmelite um, ways of knowing. So this story was a bit new to me and um, also how do you translate visually a, a story into symbols that, um, and because um, I chose the possum skin cloak which is a very um, significant and important cultural object which has um, been re revitalised into communities as a cultural practice as the medium for telling the story because our possum cloaks do that. We have the panels, we have designs on them and we tell stories. And this is a story of um, recreation and re, um, rebirth um, and Michael talked me through the meaning of the story and how it was like Jesus' story, but it was before Jesus come along. And you know, the, the um, resurrection of the sun with the fish and the oil and the bread, and so it's a very powerful and in Christian terms that, that connectedness, I suppose, for want of a better way of saying it. So it was very challenging to me but a beautiful story, so I, I, did, I did feel a connection there because we have that rebirth um, and re kind of resurrection thing, I suppose, in Aboriginal spirituality. And that I know there are um, members of the Aboriginal community who carry both the church's teachings and our teachings together. So there is that really um, important um, blending there and connection. Well, this work is a, another possum skin cloak. 
um, in the, a marine grade stainless steel that's been etched with designs and the designs are representing the Bunwarung country that we're on here so there's campsites, there's eel spaces, there's sitting down doing, you know, meeting, gathering, talking business, there's rivers um, and the spiral I use as the eternal life, birth, death, rebirth um, to represent, you know, that cr continuing creation. Um, people think sometimes that the dreaming is in the past, but it's a continuous past, present and future concurrency, convergence, it's all at the same time. So. And possum skin cloaks are really important and significant, significant cultural items um, that have been re-established as a cultural practice back in Aboriginal communities across southeastern Australia. So, and for me, it's the work I've been doing for the last 18 years in cultural reclamation through possum cloaks and language and ceremony and things. So, it's a medium whether it's in stainless steel or in possum fur that I really like to use to tell story and to record that story because our cloaks record, um, have record of our story, who we are, where we come from.